Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects CC 2018 tutorial. This one, I'm going to show you how to work with track mats and basically do things like selective concealment and selective reveals using track mats. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's a little bit, it takes a little while to get your head around what's going on, so um, just stick with me guys. I promise I'll do my best to explain it and you should probably figure it out after this. So, alright, here we go. If you guys are working along with me, drag and drop any old footage into your project panel. Me, I've got this cool little footage of like a kind of like a database going blinky blinky. Well, whatever. Yeah, that's the that's the official term. But uh, anyways, whatever your footage is, just go new comp from selection. That's right click on it and then left click new comp from selection. And here you go. We've got some cool looking, yeah, data bars and yeah, it's kind of like it belongs in a sci-fi film. Very cool rock and roll. Okay, so the next step is now that we're in here, the next step is we want to go ahead and create, in this instance, we're going to create a new solid. So you want to come up here and you want to go layer, new, oops, layer new, and then solid. If I can just do this, I've got one job, Curtis. Come on, get it together. Now, you're going to notice that I'm going to go ahead and just create a smaller solid than the entire um, composition size. Normally, I make composition size, but not for this because we're going to just selectively uh work on a small piece. So I'm just going to go with 300 by 300 and let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got this cool looking white square and we're going to put that over top of this the first column. Why not? Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and start slowly making a little bit slimmer and because I kind of want to just cover that column up just for the demonstration purposes. So I'm just doing some dragging droppy stuff. Um, nothing too serious. So there we go. Okay. So we've got a white solid over top of the first uh, data bars and, well, nothing going on really too cool at this point. Here's where it gets interesting though. At the next step is you want to click back on the video or the image or whatever it is you're using to follow along with me and you want to go to the track mat column. Now, if you do not see this in your columns, just simply hover on top of any of the columns like source name right click on it, go down to columns and make sure that you see modes is selected. There has to be a check mark beside it. That way you can do it right here inside, well, right here. So here we go guys. So I've got the mode now. In this situation you will see something that says track mat. Here's the one we want to work with. Drag and drop that down and in this situation we're going to work with an alpha mat. Alpha basically is the basic transparency of a of a, of a layer. We're going to work with alpha mat. I'll show you luma mat in another video, but it's not as popular. Uh, but let's go with alpha mat. When I click that, all of a sudden the only thing that you can see now is the bar. So when I hit space bar, you'll see that piece of the video. It is included in. Everything else is excluded out. And you also know that this is going to, um, when if and when we render it, we have the ability to render it as a transparent file. So as a transparent video. So this piece will all be transparent and only this piece will show up and you can put this into cool videos and stuff like that. But again, I'm a little bit a little bit ahead of myself here. So there you go. That's how you get a track mat going. Another option is if you want to take this piece out and you want everything else to show up, well, you just invert it. So instead of going alpha mat, you want to go alpha inverted mat here. And this might actually be a little bit easier for you guys to, to visualize. Now, when I hit space bar, everything is going the way it's supposed to be, but this piece here is chopped out. Now, normally, a lot of people would say, well, why don't you just animate a mask? And there's a very good reason why you might want to do this. Because when you animate a mask, you animate a mask on that layer. So if I was to make a mask, I would make a mask on this .mp4. And it's a little bit more complicated for moving it around and positioning it because when you do a track mat, you'll notice that when I drop down, you're going to see the transform options. I have the ability to go in there and move this thing around however the heck I see fit using the position, anchor point, scale, rotation, stuff like that, where with a track mask, with an animated mask, pardon me, you don't really get that. So I'm going to command or control Z back just so that we're where we were but this way you can see how to do a track mask and it's very very cool if i wanted to say start a position one i would say move it from position here at zero seconds and i want it to take it over to this one here so at two seconds i'm going to move this mask i'm going to move it right over to here 
And maybe I'll even make it a little bigger because it should be a bit bigger. <laughs> uh, oops. And there, we've got our white solid. I'm going to add a little bit of size to it. Why not? And then, boom, we've got an animated track mask. So I'll just hit spacebar. And in the end product, this piece would be taken out. So you would see that animation. And it looks very, very cool. Um, so that's how you basically do a track mask. And that's kind of why you might want to do it. Um, again, it's very, very cool. If you have any questions or if there's anything you want to learn or see, just let me know. I'm going to switch back to the regular mask so that this piece would be the only piece we'd be chopping out. And uh, yeah, just just leave me a message and let me know, guys. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate anybody that subscribes. I'll be back soon with some more uh, After Effects tutorials shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.